you are welcome to Jerry Royal Channel. The first coronation of a new UK monarch in 70 years will happen over a three-day weekend in May. Buckingham Palace made the announcement recently. King Charles III, along with his wife Camilla, Queen Consort, will have their coronation ceremony at Westminster Abbey on May 6, with more ceremonies following on May 7 and 8. Charles became king on September 8, immediately following the death of his mother Queen Elizabeth II. The coronation service will commence on the morning of May 6 at Westminster Abbey. As earlier announced, the service will reflect the monarch's role today and look towards the future while being rooted in long-standing traditions and pageantry Buckingham Palace revealed, the service will begin with the king and queen consort arriving in a procession. After the ceremony, there will be a bigger ceremonial procession, which is called the Coronation Procession at Buckingham Palace. Other members of the royal family will join Charles and Camilla during the procession. The royal family will make an appearance at the Buckingham Palace balcony to round up with the first day, on the second day, Sunday, May 7, Windsor Castle will host a special coronation concert, produced and broadcast by the BBC and BBC Studios. The full concert lineup will be announced at a later date, but Buckingham Palace has mentioned that the Coronation Choir will perform at the concert. This diverse group will be created from the nation's keenest community choirs and amateur singers from across the United Kingdom such as refugee choirs, NHS choirs, LGBTQ plus singing groups, and deaf signing choirs, Buckingham Palace added. There will later be a documentary about the formation of the group. They will be joined by the virtual choir, made up of singers from across the Commonwealth of Nations. The centerpiece of the concert is lighting up the nation, in which residents from across the UK will light up very strategic and important locations. The BBC will hold a national lottery to give away free tickets to the concert. Volunteers from the King and Queen Consort's charity affiliations will also attend. There will also be a Coronation Big Lunch event, organized by the Big Lunch team at the Eaton Project. Everything wraps up on Monday, May 8, with the Big Help Out. This will be an event to encourage volunteer service. In tribute to His Majesty the King's public service, the Big Help Out will encourage people to dedicate themselves to volunteering and join the work being done so far to support their local areas. Buckingham Palace revealed the purpose of the Big Help Out is to use volunteering to bring communities together and create a lasting volunteering legacy from the coronation weekend. King Charles III's coronation is the first in the UK since Queen. Elizabeth's in 1953, his mother was on the throne for over 70 years, making her the longest reigning British monarch in history. Charles became king at age 73, making him the oldest person to ascend to the UK throne. Subscribe to this channel to get up-to-date information about King Charles' coronation and every other things happening in the British royal family. Don't forget to like this video. Thank you for watching. God bless you.